Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this look using this Wet n Wild palette called Silent Treatment. I love these palettes because they're so easy to use, they're nice and small, they're really inexpensive. They actually have little descriptions on the shadow to indicate where you should apply them. However, I do things a little different, so let me explain. So I'm going to start off with the blending brush and we are going to take the shade, which is a transition shade. So I often refer to a transition shade as the mid-tone. It's basically creating a transition between your other shadows. That's why I call it a mid-tone because it's like a middle tone. So it's somewhere in between everything that you're applying. So this is a beautiful sort of mauve -y, almost like a blushy kind of tone. I really like it with this look. And transition shades typically go in the crease area. So the crease area is where the lid creases into the eye shape, but it actually refers to anything above this point, but stopping underneath the brow. So then you want it to be nice and soft and blended. That's why you use a blending brush. We're then going to take the shade, which is for the eyelid, and we're going to use a smaller brush. And the reason we're using a smaller one is we want to intensify this. So we're going to apply this all over the lid area. So this is basically going to go from the lash line up towards the transition shade or the mid-tone in the crease. So apply this evenly across the lid, matching up to where the mid-tone starts. Don't go beyond that point. Keep this to the lid, but just get to the very edge where the mid-tone or transition shade starts. You're then going to take what they refer to as the crease shade. Personally, I wouldn't use this in the crease. You could if you wanted to deepen the crease, but I want to use this on the outer edge and I want to use it as a definer or as my contour. So we're going to apply this on the outer third of the lid and I'm using a flat brush to give me lots of control. But once I've applied it on the outer third, I then take a soft pencil brush and just soften it out. This is actually the same brush that we use to apply the lid shade. That way you bring everything in together. Then we're going to take that crease shade again, and this time we're going to apply this underneath the eye. So we use that flat brush again and apply this underneath on the outer third. And with that pencil brush that we used before, we're going to soften this out. Really important to keep everything nice and soft and blended. Next, we're taking the brow bone shade, which is the lightest shade, and we're going to apply this with a lip brush or a small detailed brush and apply this underneath the brows, and this will sharpen up the look. The brow bone actually creates a much sharper look because it creates that contrast between what's going on in the crease and the lid. And you can also use this shade on the inner corner, the center of the lid, basically anywhere you want to slightly brighten. And then all you have to do is apply maybe a little bit of liner, lashes, lots of mascara, and you're good to go. I love the cool tones in this palette. It's really easy to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any other palettes you'd like me to try, as always, I am open for suggestions. So definitely leave a comment. Make sure to check out the other videos on the screen. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and don't forget to like. And I'll see you guys next time.